dear students and friends uh, i am samir poonaran assistant professor department of mathematics psm mo college tirunelveli today we are discussing about the topic hyperbolic functions which is coming under the uh, first module of the uh, the complementary course mt2 co2 mathematics 2 so we can discuss the section hyperbolic functions okay first of all Uh, first of all, we can talk about hyperbolic sine and cosine. Hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine. Okay. Hyperbolic sine is uh, denoted by sine h t and is defined by sine h t is equal to e to the power t minus. e to the power minus t divided by 2 and the hyperbolic cosine is uh, denoted by sin uh, sorry cos h of t and is defined by cos h of t is equal to e to the power t plus e to the power minus t divided by 2 okay. uh, these are the hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine <coughs> okay here actually uh, Sin h t, the hyperbolic sine is a or is an old function because uh, we have uh, sin h of minus t is equal to e to the by definition we have sin h t is equal to e power t minus e power minus t divided by two. So uh, replacing t by minus t, we get sin h of minus t is equal to e to the power minus t minus e to the power t divided by two, which is nothing but negative of e power t minus e power minus t divided by 2 this is equal to minus sin h of t so sin h of minus t is equal to sin h of uh, minus sin h of t so sin h t or hyperbolic sin t hyperbolic sin is a is an odd function is an odd function Uh, in a similar way, we can uh, show that cos h t or hyperbolic cosine is a is an even function. Uh, that is, cos h of minus t is equal to uh, e to the power minus t plus e to the power plus t divided by two. This is nothing but cos h of t. So, so hyperbolic cosine cos h of t is uh, an even function. even function now uh, the graphs of hyperbolic sine and cosine the graph of hyperbolic sine is is like this this is x axis and this is y axis so hyperbolic sine is like this like this this is y equal to sin h of x and the graph of hyperbolic cosine is Like this, so this is x-axis and this is y-axis. So this is y equal to cos h of x. So actually, uh, from the graph itself, we can see that uh, the uh, the hyperbolic sine is an even odd function and the hyperbolic cosine is an odd function. Okay. Next, uh, here. Uh, we know the functions uh, sin t and cos t or cos t and sin t are hyper uh, circular functions we know that uh, cos t comma sin t are called circular functions we already know that because because uh, if you denote uh, cos t and sin t as x and y no just x x y is equal to cos t comma sin t the ordered pair cos t comma sin t so we will get x equal to cos t and y equal to sin t therefore x square plus y square will be cos square t plus sin square t which is equal to 1 so this implies x square plus y square is equal to 1 which is a unit circle so uh, which is a unit circle so we can say that what 
cos t and sin t are called circular functions in a similar way we can say that uh, the hyperbolic functions cos h t and sin h t are uh, hyperbolic functions because uh, we can form the parameterization of this uh, cos h t and sin h t we give uh, with an hyperbolic uh, hyperbola because if you take if we take uh, x comma y as cos h t comma sin h t so we will get x equal to cos h t comma y equal to sin h t therefore x square minus y square will be what x square minus y square will be 1 because x square minus y square is equal to cos h square t <coughs> minus sin h square t <coughs> We can prove that this is equal to 1 because cos h square t is equal to we have cos h t is equal to 1 cos h t equal to e power t minus a plus e power minus t divided by 2 so e power t plus e power minus t divided by 2 whole square minus uh, e power t minus e power minus t divided by 2 whole square now expanding this we can take 1 by 4 outside then e power 2 t plus e power minus 2 t so e power, e power t plus e power minus t whole square will be e power 2 t plus e power minus 2 t plus 2 into e power t into e power minus t minus now e power t minus e power minus t to the power 2 so e power 2 t plus e power minus 2 t minus 2 e power t e power minus t so Actually, e power t in the e power minus t will be 1 and e power 0 that is 1 so 2 and this is also 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 and this is equal to 1 by 4 into e power 2t plus e power minus 2t can be get cancelled because here is negative e power 2t and plus negative e power minus 2t so this will be cancelled and 2 into e power t into e power minus t will be uh, 2 into e power 0 minus here is also uh, minus 2 into e power 0 so this is nothing but equal to 1 because e power 0 is 1 and e power 0 is 1 2 plus 2 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 by 4 is equal to 1 therefore x square minus y square is equal to 1 we know that x square minus y square is equal to 1 is a is a represents a hyperbola which represents represents a hyperbola hyperbola therefore uh, cos h t comma sin h t are called are called hyperbolic functions hyperbolic functions ok so actually uh, this will be a part of an hyperbola like this uh, hyperbola will be like this and uh, uh, the parameterization of uh, if, we, if we take any t this will be a point like this and this is cos h t comma sin h t ok this will be a part of a parabola now this is 2 now we can do a question ok Question 1. Show that show that uh, e to the power x is equal to sin cos h x plus sin h x. Cos h x plus sin h x. It's a simple question. How to prove this? We have we have to prove this we have cos h x equal to e to the power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 and sin h x is equal to e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2. Therefore, uh, if you are taking the RHS, therefore so cos h x plus sin h of x is equal to, adding this we get 1, 1 by 2 into 2 e power x nothing but e, e, this e power x plus e power minus x plus e power x minus e power minus x 
so this is nothing but e power minus x get cancelled and 1 by 2 into 2 e power minus x which is equal to sorry e power uh, x which is equal to e power x so we can say that this is rhs so so this is rhs and uh, this is lhs okay so it can be proved like this okay in a similar way we can also do that next question is e power minus x is equal to cos hx minus sin hx okay you can do it easily like this so uh, i am skipping this question okay try to do this next one is okay now so now we have so we defined the hyperbolic cosine and hyperbolic sine in a similar way we can define the other hyperbolic functions the other hyperbolic functions as as in the in the case of uh, uh, trigonometric functions you know that uh, the other hyperbolic functions are tan x equal to we have tan x equal to sin x by cos x in a similar way we can define this tan x equal to uh, sin x divided by cos x so what will be this we have sin x is equal to e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 and cos x equal to e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 so sin x divided by cos x will be e power x minus e power minus x divided by uh, e power x plus e power minus x and this two will be cancelled okay so then now c h x or cot h x now next one is cot h x cot h x is equal to actually this is 1 by tan h x or cos h x divided by sin h x cos h x divided by sin h x so this is equal to e power x plus e to the power minus x divided by e power x minus e power minus x. Okay. Next one is c h of x is equal to 1 by cos h of x which is equal to what? Cos h x is equal to e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2. So 1 by cos h x will be uh, 2 divided by e power x plus e to the power minus x. Okay. Now, uh, cosecant, cosecant of x is equal to 1 by sin h of x, which is equal to what? 2 divided by e power x minus e power minus x. So, these are the uh, other hyperbolic functions, the formula for other hyperbolic functions. Okay.